Okay, I do believe we are recording. Welcome, we are the Ghost Scabbers. I'm Joe. I'm Jason. And today what we're going to be doing is going over some of the tools that we like to use in the field. I was given a couple of questions pertaining to why do we do it and what do we use. So we're going to break it down into a couple segments. Right. One of the segments is going to be talking about the tools that we use and how we use it and what we believe it to be used for. So when it, along that line, a lot of people's questions are, what's the best tools to use? This right here is your number one tool that you already have. It takes pictures, it takes video. You can download easy to use audio recording apps. Don't be fooled by all the ghost apps because those are just for entertainment values. What you want to do for anything else is use equipment that's specified for it. Exactly. As we're going over, um, we'll talk about in, in general the different apps that we've actually used and found not to be in, not to be effective. Um, we were also given information from other paranormal groups that this is what they use. They've gotten good results. It doesn't work for everybody, but for us, we use what we think is going to work because the main things for paranormal investigations are evidence and personal experiences. No one can take personal experience away from you. Right. And as far as evidence, it's inconclusive or... Evidence is subject to what each person thinks of it. So we're never going to tell you that anything is paranormal. We're going to leave that up for you to decide. Yes. So as we're going to continue, we're going to start off with our very first one. And as Jason already went over, very first thing that you need as far as your tools, your own phone. Well, let's back that up a little bit. The very, your very, very best tool is yourself. Exactly. Exactly. Your instincts. Your beliefs. Your beliefs. Your intuition. Your intuition. Everything comes into play. Right. Because if you, if you walk into a, let's just say you don't drink but you go into a bar and you feel weird about something. That's your intuition kicking in. Use that and you'll know if you want to stay there or if you want to leave. Exactly. Same thing goes if you're walking into a place that's said to be haunted. You walk into the place, if you get a weird feeling, it's your decision to stay or to go. Right. We're staying. <laughs> so on that note, like we already discussed the phone. We're going to get into a few other things over here. So the first one on this episode, what we're going to talk about is EMF detectors. So we have two different ones that we have that we're going to be displaying right now. This one right here, this brand is Smart Sensor. I like this one because it gives off two different readings. It gives off temperature and it also gives off a digital thermometer or not a thermometer, but a digital reading as far as your EMS are concerned. With this one, when it goes above a 0 0.50... Give you an example. Yeah, we'll that. give you an example. With a 0 0.50, this thing is going to light up, and it lets you know that the electromagnetic field, which EMF stands for, is way too high for you to be even in the vicinity, which starts messing around with your mentality, mm -hmm. what, what you see, what you feel, what you hear, and it just completely messes around with you. Like, like how people have the, um, if you live under power lines, or if you're standing right next to a junction box in a, in a building, you're going to be right next to that electric magnetic field. That's where it may mess with your head. Exactly. So within this one, we're going to give you a small little gauge. Um, if you can see, we have a base reading of zero because my house isn't haunted. Right? Yeah. That I know. Of. But here's where you have to be careful. If I can put this electronic device right next to it. You will find a sweet spot. So your phone gives off radiation. Well, it's not working. <laughs> Well, go ahead and click on your phone. Oh, okay. Within the phones, it gives off radiation, and there's been plenty of times where we can get false positives, where right. we get something and it radiates so much. Right there. We get that notification. It's reading and it re electricity in my phone. And so since it's reading off his phone, we have to make sure we have to gauge how far the phone has to be from this device. Or, or any other equipment that you're using. Make sure it's separated. That radio wave is going to come into play. Um, another ghost hunting favorite from all investigators is this device right here, another EMF detector, the K2 meter. So I'm going to turn it on and it's going to set. It's going to give a base reading. Now, of course, it, it too is going to pick up 
if I get too close to some of this equipment. Now the theory behind this is that if there's energy in an area where there is no electricity, it will make the lights right here go up to certain levels. So you can theoretically communicate with spirits. Once again, like we said with, this, with the other one, be careful how close you put this to the other equipment. And, but it's basically simple, uh, relatively cheap. You can find these, you can find all these devices on Amazon. And people ask that too, where do I go? Cheap promo, <laughs> Amazon. Amazon, <laughs> heck us up. <laughs> so within this, we'll, um, we'll do the same display that I did with my EMF detector, which shot it through the roof, let you know, yeah. false readings, don't worry about that. Just take it away from your phone. I've actually found out from my phone. There you go. You if that. you can see the lights, they're starting to fluctuate right now. If you find a sweet spot, you can actually get it all the way up to a red. Right. So in those false readings, what you want to do is just remember, it's not a paranormal, active, paranormally active place. You're not dealing with ghosts. You're not dealing with spirits. You're dealing with your phone. You're dealing with electronics that are a kind of high voltage. Right. Um, I've also done... Um, electricians use these things. Plumbers, so both of them. plumbers yeah. use some of the same things that we use. Um, Jason Hawes, <laughs> Rotor Rooter. They, they probably use these things thermal just to find leaks inside of your house. These are some of the small tools, and this is the first episode of what we're going to be shooting for, going over EMF readers, you using yourself as a tool, unless you are a tool, and then you have um, the phones. Those are pretty much the top three things that you need as a paranormal investigator. So if anybody asks you, what can I use? Bring out your phone is the first and foremost thing because it covers everything. Main things you want to do, cover yourself and cover anything that potentially can right. get your, um, what's that word? <laughs> yeah, well, get, right. your get your evidence. Get your evidence. Don't, don't take video. Take lots of pictures. Take pictures and uh, rapid sequence in one spot if you feel that there's something there because you may not get something in one frame that may show up in the next frame. Absolutely. And to go off that, I'm going to piggyback off his. Within your EMFs, if you have a base reading of a zero, how you use these things, do not scan like this. No. You're not using it as a magic wand. You're not trying to turn a princess from a frog. <laughs> You're not trying to do that. Your base reading starts off in one spot. If it starts to fluctuate, stay there. If it gets to a point to where it starts getting really high, start breaking out your, your your other tools. Start getting EVPs going. Get your your voice recorders. Get a camera out so you can start recording. You might have something there, or you got a false reading from something else that's kicking out. And just remember, just because a place doesn't have electricity in it, that doesn't mean there's not lines that are buried underneath the property that you don't know about. Absolutely. So. On that note, this is going to conclude our very first episode of talking about paranormal tools because we are the ghost gathers. We like to talk about ghosts. And hopefully two ghosts. Absolutely. We'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys click like and subscribe. Send your friends if you guys want to talk about paranormal. We are down to hear from you guys and also talk to you. See you on the next one. Gabbers out.